Stewie here. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn a Metolius hangboard and put it into a way that you can mount it at your home or apartment without putting any holes on your wall, which is very beneficial, especially if you live in an apartment. Uh, so we'll be using a standard Metolius hangboard. You see mine's a little damaged, hopefully yours is not. The pull-up bar we are using today is the Perfect Multi-Gym. Um, you also could use the Perfect Pull-Up Bar with a very similar technique. So here we go. Right, so laid out right here is the assortment of things we will need. Uh, obviously you have the pull-up bar itself and the hangboard. We're also going to need a piece of plywood. We are using uh, three quarters inch wood for this. We're going to need a rubber mallet. We're going to need a drill. Uh, we have an assortment of drill bits. You could probably just use, you know, obviously the one drill bit size you need. And then we're going to have two of these, uh, I believe they're half inch flanges, I believe they're called. Uh, we have a four inch, half inch pipe two of those as well. We have uh, number 12, three quarters inch screws. And then we have um, number 10, one inch screws. And we'll be getting into where all this stuff goes momentarily. Cool. So first thing we're gonna do is, I've already taken it off here. This is where the half inch by four inch pipe's gonna go. So if you haven't already, you're going to kind of pop that little piece off which comes off quite easily okay next thing we're going to do is need to insert this into here and that is where the rubber mallet comes into play so in this step this is really kind of simple and obvious you're threading that on which is going to be much better to pre-thread before you bang with the mallet because if you tear up these threads in any way, um, obviously you won't be able to get the flanges on. Now, uh, this is an optional step, but um, obviously if this was hanging on the pull-up bar, you can have all this excess wood. So what I've simply done is trace around it and I'm going to cut this out so that once the hangboard is on the pull bar, it'll be nice and clean and there will be uh, less of this extra crap. Right, so now we have our basic back plate cut out using the rough uh, guidelines. Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. It can be as perfect as you want it to be. Uh, you can see my detail work wasn't extremely perfect. All right, so now that we have the pull-up bar with the pipes and phalanges in there, and we have our piece of plywood, we are going to uh, mark these for mounting. Um, some you can see obviously this has a little play in it like that so make sure that when you're doing your marking you have it in the proper position that the hangboard or the rather the pull-up bar is supposed to be in this is obviously out of position so kind of pulling them apart to make sure these flanges sit flat um, we first measured up this distance uh, to about three and a half inches. We chose to measure from this side as opposed to this side because if you remember this edge is cut and it's not perfect, this is a factory cut. Uh, so three and a half inches, three and a half inches, you make your little mark, right? We just did that to keep it in place. Then we measured in from the side, which is a little bit of a rougher cut, um, approximately five on both sides. Uh, you, if you just go ahead and you mark your holes, you obviously don't have to mark the flange um, 
but then just put a little dot right in the middle of each. All right, so now we're going to drill some potholes. Um, this bit size is the one I picked out of the box. I don't know what its size is, but the general thing with the pothole is like you don't want your bit to be as wide as the threads. So you want the threads to catch. So like if you line it up, like it can be as wide as the stem of the screw, but the thread should be sticking out because that's what's going to catch in the wood. So that's one way you can kind of gauge your drill. Bit. Now, when we drill your potholes, as you saw me shift the board over, don't be ridiculous and drill through your professional workbench like mine. And you're just gonna line them up, drill some potholes. So, now we're gonna use, uh, a drill to put the screws and the flanges. This is a Phillips number two because it fits better for ours. Um, I have seen this done with like a hand screwdriver, right? The old thing, um, because people are worried about like stripping them. But I think as long as you're careful with the drill, like you do want these flanges to suck down to the plywood. So just be careful when you're doing this. Um, Another thing you'll find is like this part can kind of be in the way. So it is possible to remove it if you want it out of your way, but we're going to try to just work around it. All right. So there you have this set up, ready to be mounted with the hang board at this point. Alright, so I've already tacked in a couple screws. Um, this part is kind of difficult by yourself. I would recommend some like quick clamps or something if you're by yourself. Uh, otherwise, having a buddy to help you uh, get it centered and then get it started works well. Uh, also not mentioned in this video project is the fact that I've used this hangboard before. So if you come in close, you can see I have pre-drilled holes, all right? So that's, that's something that uh, this material, I would definitely drill like pilot holes through before you try to put screws in because it is a fragile material and can break. So voila! So now we have a hang board mounted to a pull up bar. And now you can get your hangout routine on without damaging your apartment complex. So there you got it. Uh, pull up bar is mounted. You can see it will hold your weight. Um, these pull up bars are pretty self explanatory if you don't know. The back side uh, lip hooks onto this. And if you need trouble figuring out how to put up the pull up bar, um, you can Google that. <laughs>